now we are using the latest version of angular in this application and as of today the latest version of angular is 13 now it is time to learn how to create some components by using the angular material before that let's run this application by using the ng serve command so here i can write ng serve and the dash o this dash o will open the browser automatically here you can see that this application is running and on top of this application you can see that we are using this toolbar and we have created this toolbar by using the bootstrap in one of the previous video we have used the bootstrap and at that time we created this toolbar now we want to do everything by using the angular material so i want to create a toolbar or this header by using the angular material for that let's open the angular material website so in the new tab i can type material.angular.io just go to the components and here on the left side you will get a list of all the components that are available in angular material so here we are having this toolbar this toolbar has couple of sections first is the overview this is the overview of this component if i want to use the mat toolbar then i have to use this particular tag in our application this is a container for headers titles or actions then in the bottom side if you will scroll down a little bit then you will see there are some examples if you want to create a toolbar of single row then you can use this code for multiple rows we can create this particular toolbar there are some more information about the toolbar over here now let's understand few more things if you want to use anything from angular material then you need to import the corresponding module and the detail of this corresponding module is available over here under this api if i want to use the toolbar then i have to import this module from this angular material mat toolbar module all the information about the toolbar is written inside this module and all the configurations that are required for this angular material toolbar those are listed down over here if you want to make any change in the row then you can use these things these are the selector and export it as so basically everything is defined over here you can also provide the colors so here is the detail these are the default colors in the third column we will have the examples let's have a look on this one also so here are some examples of the toolbar in angular material now the question is how can we use these toolbars in our application let's have a look on all these three links the first one is this link so basically if you want to copy this link or want to share it with someone else then you can click on this one and you can share it or you can keep it for your future reference also so you can see we are getting directly this particular toolbar now if you want to see the code for this particular toolbar then you can click on this second button and here we are having three files the first one is html this is the code for the html you can copy it either by selecting the entire thing like this or you can copy it by using this button then we have this ts file this is basically the component t typescript file and this is basically the typescript file that you have created for your component in case you want to make some design in this toolbar then you have to write some css and those details are available over here now let's use all these things in our application and let's create a toolbar by using the angular material let's go to this api section and even before that let's go to this overview section and first we will start with this the basic one this only has a name that is the my application so in the beginning i want to use this one let's go to the code section and this is the code for this toolbar let's copy this code go back to our application and over here let's expand this src folder under this src we have this app and here we are having this app component.html this is the code that we have written for the current header so as of now without commenting it after this div let's paste the new code that we have just copied so we have only copied this particular code that is p tag and then we have this mat toolbar inside this we have this pen and this is a name let's save all the changes and let's see what we got here you can see we are getting some error and this is a genuine error because as of now this application does not know what is this mat toolbar because its definition is written inside some other module and we have to import that module first the details of this toolbars are written inside this 
mat toolbar module so let's copy this one go back to the application and this time we have to go to the modules the corresponding module for this particular file that is the app component file is this app module over here inside this imports array we have to import that module so first let's paste it over here just copy this name and do it like this save all the changes and let's see what we got over here this time the build is successful there is no error let's go back to the browser and here is the application and this time you can see we are getting this particular toolbar this is the name that we have written now there is no need of this particular bootstrap toolbar and let's remove that so here either i can remove it completely or i can just comment it save it go back over here and you can see we are having this toolbar if i want to see it in the responsiveness let's open this mobile view you can see there is no scroll bar at the bottom side and it is working fine cool now let's try to use some more inputs for this angular material if i go to the api section you can see we are having this input color it means we can provide the color in this tag that is the mat toolbar let's copy this color property and go back over here here i have to write primary just save all the changes go back to the browser and let's see what we got this time you can see we are having the primary color of this angular material this is how you can use the basic toolbar in angular material now let's try to use some complex one and for the complex one let's go to these examples under this section there are multiple toolbars and we have to use only this one and if i want to use this particular toolbar then let's go to the code section over here we are having this html we were having the third one so here is the third one so this is the first toolbar then this is the second toolbar this one and here is the third one so let's copy this particular code and just go back to this application and over here even below this let's paste this code just save the changes and immediately you can see we are getting more errors why we are getting these errors we are getting these errors for the mat icon because this new toolbar is using some buttons and those are mat icons this is also a separate module in angular material so if i go to this angular material website on the left side you will see we are having icons here it is and if i want to use this icon then i can use this mat icon so we are getting the error in our application from this mat icon because if i want to use this mat icon then i have to import this particular module let's copy it go back to the application go to the app module and over here let's just paste it copy this particular name only go to the imports array put a comma in the next line let's paste this mat icon module save the changes let's see what we got in the errors this time the build is successful there is no error go back to the browser let's see what we got over here and you can see we are getting this new toolbar also over here you can see that the design is not appropriate the button design is something different so let's go back to this angular material website again go back to the toolbar go to the examples and over here we were using this one so go over here let's see what we got in the css file we are having this particular css just copy it go back to the application and we are inside this app component here is the css just paste it save the changes let's say what we got so this time you can see that the position of the buttons have been placed properly but the design of the button is still not very good this is because we have already used the bootstrap in this application and there is some class in between bootstrap and the angular material to fix it let's go back to the application and over here let's open the angular.json file over here here you can see that we are including this bootstrap file so let's remove it and remove this comma also let's go back to the index.html file over here and you can see we have already commented out this particular bootstrap link let's just save all the changes and this time we have to run this application again 
So first let's stop it because we have made the changes in angular.json file. So we have to run this application again and let's run this application again by using the same command. Okay, let's go back over here, refresh the changes and you can see this time the design of this button is looking good. You can also place some buttons or links on this toolbar with the help of angular material. There are so many components over here. There are some buttons. You will see so many designs of the buttons and the links also. You can also use the drop downs as well. All the details are available over here. Okay, just for the testing purpose, let's use one button over here. And in the button section, we have these buttons. Let's copy one of them. And again, the process is same. If I want to use the buttons, then here is the overview. And here is the API section. So basically we have to import this particular module before using the buttons. And here are some examples. These are the examples. Okay, so here we are in the overview tab. Let's go to this code section. And over here you can see that the button code is very simple. We only have to use this particular thing that is the mat button or the mat raised button. So let's copy one of them over here. Let's say I'm using only this one. Go back to our application. Here we are in this app.component.html part and over here this time let's use this button. Save the changes and it is working fine. And you can see we are getting this button over here. And make sure you are importing this mat button module. So let's copy it completely. Go back to the application in the app module section. Let's just paste it over here and use this mat button module. Save it. Go back to the application. What we got here, you can see that the design of the button is looking good now. Let's try a few more designs also of the button. So here we are in the overview. Then this time I want to use this raised and stroked. Okay, so here we are. Let's copy one of them. Let's say I'm copying this particular button code. Here we are in the application. Go back to the app component. Let's just paste it, save the changes. Go back to the browser, verify the changes. And you can see that the color of the primary button is updated because we are using the primary color and the toolbar color is also primary that is why we are having both of them as blue but if i want to remove it like i want to remove this particular color from here save the changes and this time you can notice that the design of these buttons are a little bit different this one has a different design and this one has some raised design this is how you can create a toolbar in angular application with the help of angular material.